Hi, we're back. Okay, let's get let's wrap this up. Okay, talk I don't know if we'll wrap it up, but we'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay, yeah, talk a little bit more about what we were talking about. Uh, auto intoxication, that's what we were talking about. Okay, and trying to eliminate that problem from your life by getting your system cleaned out. Um, a lot of people, like I said earlier, have this problem and uh, they're not doing anything about it. A lot of people don't know that they have this problem. Uh, you can't rely on your doctors. There was a time when if you went in the hospital, this was quite a few years ago now, but if you went into the hospital for illness or whatever, what they do is give you an enema to clean you out before they started dealing with your health situations. But I don't even think most hospitals do that now. So that means that most people have went their whole life without getting an enema or any, any kind of cleansing or cleaning you know, for their system. So we have to be responsible for our own health and we have to learn how to how to cleanse our own bodies. And uh, you can do it with a lot of different herbal um, products, different herbs, and uh, there are a lot of colon cleansers on the market, some better than others. And there's fiber, you can buy fiber at uh, most stores now, that'll help clean you out. But in some cases, the problem's a lot worse than, than that. And it takes a while to dislodge a lot of the, the things that we have in our system. Yeah, Cinepod is good. That's one of the natural herbs that you can use. And your fiber, you have to use them kind of together. Not, you know, together, but take some uh, uh, Cinepod or take your fiber first when you wake up in the morning. And then make your tea out of your Cinepod and then that would eliminate push a lot of the stuff out. Okay, yeah. Some advice. people use that. My wife likes to use Cinepod. Uh, me personally, I don't have probably as much of a problem with elimination as my wife's had over the years. Uh, partially because I was raised a little different. Uh, we always ate uh, basically a, a full four or five course meal and I didn't eat a lot of junk and my mother always made sure we had vegetables and we drank a lot of water so we did a lot of the things that helped you to eliminate anyway so I never really had a lot of the problems but uh, Cinepod is good. Uh, Cinepod, if your system is pretty cleansed or if your system is uh, real delicate or light then uh, Cinepod may gripe your stomach quite a bit. Yeah, but you can mix but, it. Yeah, you can uh, dilute it too. With uh, peppermint or spearmint. Okay. You can put those in there, and that will kind of help you uh, soothe your stomach. But like I told you how I was raised, my mother let me eat anything. So you have parents like that. Anything I wanted, if I didn't want vegetables, I didn't have to eat any vegetables. If I didn't want fruit, I didn't have to eat fruit. I got my hot dog, hamburger, and my french fries. And my bologna sandwich. Yeah, How about all, that? <laughs> all those things will kill you, see. My mother didn't allow us to eat a lot of those things. And uh, we thought we were being, uh, you know, abused by her. But I thank God now that I've gotten, you know, as old as I am. Uh, my wife, she tells a lot of people she's 58. Well, I'm 60, so we're getting up there. Uh, to some people, we're over the hill. But we feel good because of the way we've been taking care of our bodies yeah. and everything. We still can you know, run and, and jump and do some of the things that need to be done to keep up with the grandchildren. But uh, we do try to keep ourselves uh, healthy. Uh, we don't believe in doctors. I'm not saying anything's wrong with them, but me personally, I haven't had good experience with them. Most of the time I've questioned them. They didn't seem to know what they were doing or why they were doing it. So uh, I can't have anybody, me personally, dealing with my health that doesn't really know anything about me or about health in general. So that's just my opinion. Yeah. That's how I feel. So I try to take care of my own health problems. Yeah. Just imagine, you know, uh, someone giving you a pill and then and then if that pill doesn't work, giving you another pill. And if that doesn't pill doesn't work. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Okay. I'm 58 like I said and I'm not on any medication. Okay? I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have what a, what is another one? Um I'm just going to name the ones that my sugar diabetes, I don't have that. Um, uh, you know. No asthma, no sinus problems, no. Yeah. I haven't had a cold nothing. in years. The common cold, I haven't had that. Yeah. So. 
So it God makes is a good. difference. Yeah, God is good. Mm-hmm. But God has shown us a lot of things. And just thank God that he uh, gave us the ability to receive what he gave us. Because a lot of people we give the information to and they're not really interested. Mm-hmm. They say, well, my doctor said this and my doctor yeah. said that. But that's fine. But uh, Jesus and God's word is the best for your health. If you can follow that, you, you'll live a lot longer. And uh, I firmly believe that um, most, well, all medicines have side effects. And any doctor will tell you that. Sometimes the side effect is worse than what you came in for. You know, so uh, to me, that's not a good indication that they're taking care of your health. And then on top of that, most doctors practice medicine, and I don't want them practicing on me. So. Okay. So, you know, so <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> okay. But back to an auto intoxication and poisoning in your system. I talked to a lot of people say that they're allergic to citrus mm-hmm. foods. And I know this one lady, I eat, so I eat a lot of oranges. My, my wife and grapefruits, tangerines, we eat a lot of that, which cleanses the body. The citric acid helps cleanse the body. But uh, this particular lady, I was working with her, and she you know, she would never eat fruit. And I asked her, she said, well, I'm allergic to oranges. And I said, well, what happens? And she says, when she eats them, she breaks out. And so I said, uh, told her, I said, well, that doesn't mean you're allergic to it. I said, because what oranges and citrus fruits do is they cleanse the body. So what's happening is your body is getting cleansed. It's not that you're allergic. You know, why would your natural body that God make be allergic to something naturally that God created, like an orange? Okay. So actually what was happening is her body was cleansing itself of the poisons and she thought she was, yeah, she thought she was allergic (laughs) to it. Okay. So she was not allergic to it. So she began to start eating them and gradually the poisons came out of her system so that she could eat it without a problem. But she thought she was allergic to it and the doctors told her to stay away from it because of, you know, the rash and stuff. Yeah. Some doctors uh, be telling people to don't eat any fruit and vegetables. Can you imagine? Our, what are you uh, saying in church about, okay, in the, uh, our teeth are not made for, for meat. meat. Not okay. made for, the, for chewing or tearing meat. Okay, but uh, they're made for grains and fruits and vegetables. So can you imagine not never eating fruits and vegetables? You know, and... And uh, somebody said that their doctor told them that. Come on now. God made the fruits and vegetables. And yes, you can eat fruits and vegetables. But you have to, um, like he was saying, detoxify yourself. Cleanse yourself out. And you will see a difference. You know, your body's going to go through changes, just withdrawals. Yeah. You go through a healing process. And a lot of times the healing process may seem like it's worse than what you were trying to get healed from. But, you know, anytime you're going in one direction and you want to change and go in another direction, you're going to have to stop. So that's what's happening is your body is already sick. So when you stop and try to do something right, it's, you're going to go through a healing crisis, which is what it's called, where it seems like it's worse before it gets better, you know. But uh, we like to minister and talk to a lot of people who don't have health insurance, who can't go to a doctor, can't afford to go to a doctor. What do those people do? They need to know what to do for themselves. So we try to tell people what we do as a testimony. Then you can take it and try it yourself and see if it works for you. But uh, the things that we do uh, naturally are basically biblically based. Uh, God already said in his word uh, that there are certain things that heal, that uh, plants are for the healing of the nation. So, okay. so we will be getting more into uh, to herbs as we do you know, more programming. But... But uh, and what herb to use for what, or what we use when we get this, that, or the other. And we'd like um, to hear from you guys too. That at, you know, to tell us what do you need, yeah. what do you need to know about, you know. Yeah, uh, what are some of the problems? Yeah, that, some of the problems that you have, you yeah. know. You can and, email us, and we'll yeah. try to see what we can do to yeah. address them. You know, from the studies that we've done over the years, um, we've been. Dealing with uh, natural health, the holistic health care, and things like that for almost 40 years now. And uh, so we, we have learned some things over that, that time, and we have a vast library of information. And uh, so there's a lot we know about it, and uh, we will be willing to share it with people if they're interested uh, to know. But uh, you have to let us know, you know, if you're interested. Yeah, I was telling my, oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk to you again next time. See you later.
Bye. Yes.